If you're looking for ultimate team coins under £2 per 100k, then go check out gofifacoins.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunnar here bringing you another international Man of the Match card review and today it is the turn of Jackson Martinez, the Colombian striker. There's a quick look at the team that I played him in, I did bring some others off the bench as well. And guys, if this video can get to 150 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter, there is currently international Man of the Match giveaways and there will be some more coming up right now, so get following. So a closer look at him, 6 foot 1, high attack and work rate, medium defence work rate. He's right footed, 4 star weak foot, he's only got 3 star skills on this mode. 6 games, 10 goals and 3 assists. So let's have a look at his changes. And the changes are from his international man of the match is that he's gone from 4 star skills to 3 star skills. That is the only change but that makes a massive difference for me. Let's have a look at how he is from his regular World Cup card. And his dribbling and passing both gone up by 1. Pace, defending and heading have all gone up by 2. And his shooting has gone up by 3. So not many changes at all. But we'll have a look at the in-game stats and what you see is the standouts being this finishing, 93 finishing. You know, he's got some other things like heading, ball control, penalties, all in the light green. He's also got 91 shot power. So, you know, it's and volleys at 92. So it's all about the finishing, really. Six foot one, 187 pounds what he weighs. He can only play as a striker. And again, you see the freestyle skill moves. So we have a look at the physical attributes and that's where he stands out. 89 strength being the standout there. He's also got decent sprint speed at 86. 86 agility as well and yeah, the rest are in green but the strength is the key and 90 aggression so what are my expectations of this card well i reviewed his team of the season card and that is an outstanding card on its own merit you know and he's got four star skills so the biggest thing when you use this guy if you're used to using him on fut and a lot of people do like his normal card the 81 rated one is that you know his skills better downgrade so it just means he's not as fluid you know he's not as easy to beat people with you know, he's just not the same player, basically. And I noticed that he didn't seem, you know, fluid on the ball. He didn't seem to be able to beat defenders. He didn't even seem that clinical in terms of finishing. He had great movement and he's a natural poacher. But in terms of the amount of shots that I had compared to ones that went in, he didn't seem to finish at what I expected him to. That saying, though, he is a decent striker. He's great to use. He's absolutely fantastic in the air. Absolutely unreal in the air. He just wins headers all day long. Even though he's only six foot one. He like when he's in the air with that jumping ability, he feels like he's six foot five or something because he just gets his head onto the ball. But you know what, what else you're gonna get with him? You know, you've got a four-star weak foot, which is decent. You've also got great movement, the high attack and work rate. He does have a medium defense work rate, which is a little bit of a pain. And he's also not the quickest. The thing I noticed about his team in the season card is that he has the extra pace, which does make a difference. Combine it with the four-star skills, and that would be the way to go. But for me, you know, is he worth opening packs for? And well, I would say only if you want a Colombian squad really otherwise there are better alternatives out there so let's review overall what I thought about it's got unreal aerial ability one of the best headers in the game he's super strong he will hold the ball all day long absolutely massive you know how strong he is he's a natural poacher and a natural finisher as well although he's not the most clinical but he is always in the positions to finish and poach those goals in the box awesome movement four star weak foot as well that downgrade though to freestyle skills is a killer. That medium defense work rate means he's a little bit sluggish sometimes and also he's not the quickest. But for me, it's one of those players that when I used him, I thought, you know, he doesn't play that well, but he always seems to be in the right position and score your goals. So he's one of those kind of guys. Not spectacular, but will always get you a couple of goals if you need them. So overall, I give him an eight out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.